We're here to open up our back roads and to stop pollution building up on the main roads. It's a nightmare for people that live on these roads. It's a nightmare for our residents. People can't get to doctor surgeries. People are imprisoned in their homes. You know, we live on the main roads and we literally can't breathe. My eight-year-old daughter has had pneumonia early on this year and, and suspected COVID. And, and now every single day on the school run, we've got a walk on the main road and my daughter's choking and it's not right. It's terrible, it just keeps us behind schedule. You know, you've got to allow for traffic on the main roads because that's where you've got to go. It causes just so much hassle. Um, it makes us, you know, you can't do so many deliveries in an hour. This goes for SE25, SE19, Central Croydon. It's now going to Sutton as well, so it's not only Croydon Council. Open our road! Yeah. Really happy that people have turned out and they're protesting in such an energetic and positive way. Why do we need to open the roads? Because it'll make less pollution. What do you think about it? Well, I'm the local councillor. I've been a councillor here 28 years and I think this is a superb turnout and a clear indication that people don't want the roads closed. Yeah. have you got? <laughs> <laughs> because it's undemocratic council that have just imposed something against all the local meat switches. The pollution in the store in the road where I live is terrible and it's taking people hours to get there. I know of a man who actually died in an ambulance because they couldn't get through in one of these in Tutti. It's outrageous and nobody's listening. And we didn't have any consultation, but apparently they need a month's consultation to alter it. And all the businesses in Crystal Palace are going bust, and no one's listening. Save pollution! Open our road! Standing, protesting, just because the council has implemented a road closure without consultation of the local residents, which has caused chaos for people just getting around. Um, we live in Crystal Palace on a hill. You can't expect older people to cycle up Crystal Palace Hill. It's as simple as that. When I use my car, it's not only for just one journey, you know. Mm. I go to the supermarket, I drop my son at school, I then have to go to the doctors. So I can't do that, you know, with my bike. Where am I going to put my shopping? Where am I going to leave my bike? I can't leave my bike everywhere. It's really complicated. This is all about the ill thought out LTN scheme, standing for lower traffic neighbourhoods. It's actually counterproductive. They're causing increased pollution. They're gridlocking traffic. It's crazy. They're putting on additional time for, on people's journeys. It's an absolute joke. And they did this all without consultation with the, with the residents within the borough. sustainability, cleaner air and everything for our younger children but there has to be another way. All the road closures that they've done, yeah. the, the crowding council have imposed on people and are causing so much chaos to everybody else, that's what the protest is about, what? opening the roads. What was their reason for closing the roads? Initially it was all down to COVID regulations, they were trying to make easier access for emergency services to be able to get to work, key workers, but now it's all to do with social distancing and giving people places to walk and cycle. But our argument is this LTN doesn't work for this area. There are other places it would be better. People on main roads are struggling. Everybody deserves to have clean air, not just a few elite people in one area. And the enforcement cameras that have been put up, they need to be taken down and the planters need to be removed. Okay, let common sense prevail. Team OSM. Team OSM.